The patient is cold and unresponsive. The first responders rush to check vitals. They frantically perform CPR. A defibrillator is ready to shock. The patient's acting is admittedly a little plastic because he's made of silicone. Despite that, he's no dummy. The mannequin responds by changing vital signs, changing voices, changing the sound you're on a stethoscope, and managing the whole case. So it's from very basic stuff to advanced things that include the whole, the whole patient management. This is one of Israel's most advanced simulators to train first responders and to ensure that when every second counts, emergency personnel know exactly what to do. Everybody that experienced high fidelity simulation knows how good it is and how important it is to make them better providers. At Ben Gurion University, the Field Medical Simulation Center trains students, emergency responders, doctors, nurses, and even soldiers in the most realistic way possible, but with no patient risk. We have an opportunity to teach students in a controlled clinical environment where it's safe to make mistakes. So the advanced mannequins you see uh, can die many times a day. No patient is under any harm. Uh, but for the students, uh, learning in small groups together with uh, uh, the great instructors we have here, it's an amazing opportunity to learn clinical skills. And while the patient is fake, the response is real. Sometimes they do bring in, depends on the course, but they bring in um, actors who are pretty stressful because you feel like you have to help them um, because they don't know what they do and you really feel like you need to help them um, and it is more stressful. Um, obviously nothing's as stressful as the real environment, but it comes close. And with the touch of a screen, the instructor can make these dummies respond exactly as needed and around the clock. <laughs> change the heart rate, okay, you see now, it's faster, you can put another kind of arrhythmia, it's like ventricle fibrillations, okay, and then you need to do a CPR, okay, and shock the patient, I can charge the monitor and give him a shock, okay, shock to the patient, plastic patient is detailed, outside and in. All the mannequins is hyper-realistic. Now we can see the vocal cords, the trachea, and when I'm doing an endotracheal intubation, I can see all the anatomy inside the mannequin. That's a significant bonus over actors. You can program these dummies to display damage, so students know what to look for in the real world, something you can't do with actors. I can see spleen and kidneys, liver, and all the organs as we see it. It gives us an ability to really simulate real life situations. Um, using the equipment, using the monitor, the computerized system, it really gives us the ability to do what we would do in real life, as opposed to just talking about it and hearing about it, and then when you get to the actual situation, it's very different. The end result, training the next generation of medical staff with the next generation of equipment, so they are unfazed by humanity's oldest problems.